children. Good morning, everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. It's so nice to see you again. Hey, kids, can I ask one thing? Can you say it's kids shine time on the count of three? Awesome. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. It's kids shine time. Yay. Kids, we have a lovely program this morning. We have Vanessa, who's one of our dear friends of the children's ministry. She's going to lead our program this morning. So without further ado, why don't you give it up for Vanessa? Bye, children. Hi, boys and girls. It's great to have you join us today. My name is Vanessa, and I thought we would warm up with a dance. So join me and let's go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the dance. Today, many churches are celebrating a special day. It's called Pentecost. And on the day of Pentecost, God sent his Holy Spirit to the church. The Bible says in Acts 2, the apostles were all gathered together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a mighty rushing wind came and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. This is the sign language for Holy Spirit. Do you want to do that with me? Holy Spirit, yay. You know, the wind is also like the Holy Spirit. We can't see the wind, but I want to share three things that will tell you that the wind is real even though you can't see it. First one is you can hear the wind. When the wind blows, 
It will whistle through trees. When I was little and I grew up in a windy place called Wellington, I could hear the whistling of the wind through the trees, through the doors and through the windows. Sometimes I used to get scared because it was like, it's a sound like that. Number two, the other way you know that the wind is real, even though you can't see it, is you can see things moving. Like if the wind blew on this, ribbons windmill that I made, look at it move. I can't see the wind, but I know it's real. Why? Because this is blowing. My hair is blowing and it feels actually quite cold. Thirdly, is we may not see the wind, but we can feel the wind. If you put your hand like this and you blow on the back of your hand, can you feel that? Give it a go. Can you feel that? Would you like to try it on the person sitting next to you's cheek? Blow on their cheek. Oh, but hang on, did you brush your teeth? Okay, maybe not if you didn't brush your teeth this morning. So, you can feel the wind, you, can see, you know that the wind is real because you can see things moving and you can hear the wind. It is the same with the Holy Spirit. You can hear the Holy Spirit speak to your heart. When I, my, one of my favorite places to go to is Mount Kutha. And Mount Kutha is like this bush. You walk through this bush and this forest and the reason why I like going there is because it makes me feel close to God and I can hear His Holy Spirit speaking to my heart. Secondly, you can see the Holy Spirit moving in people to do God's will. For example, you will go to Sunday school and your leader might say, let's pray for all the children who are sick. That's the Holy Spirit in your leader telling him to do the will of God. And thirdly, you may not see the Holy Spirit, but you can feel his presence. You know that he's there. You can feel him like when you blow on your hand. So do this again with me. Acts 2, the apostles were all gathered together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like a mighty rushing wind came and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, even though we can't see you, but we know that you are real, that we can hear you when you speak to our hearts, that we can see you moving amongst people, doing the will of God and that we can feel your presence. I pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon every child that is watching right now, that they will know how real you are, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, children, thank you for joining us, and we will see you again next Sunday.